Are you addicted to your phone or have you simply not yet found that one thing to fully capture your attention and transform your life? Developers understand the focus required to overcome challenges in building software, but distractions dramatically reduce your productivity, slowing progress in development, your career, or any other goals you're working towards. And no, I'm not going to tell you to turn off notifications, uninstall social media apps, and lock your phone in another room. You know all that. I believe the real problem with developers getting distracted by their phone or anything else is a matter of misaligned priorities. Think of distraction as half pull and half push. On the one hand, we have all the technical devices in our modern lives with access to an unlimited amount of information, which is all too easy to get swallowed up in. So if that's the pull of distraction, what's the push? The idea of the push is having such a big priority in your life that all the other distractions simply fall away. If you have the correct focus on work that has true meaning to you, then no amount of distraction can pull you away from it. For example, this week I've had very little distraction because I've been focused on creating videos like this one and writing code, two priorities which align with goals I currently have in my life. So if you're currently struggling with distractions, here are four strategies that I use to devote as much time as I want to coding or any other goals. If you want to spend more time coding and less time looking at your smartphone, you need to ask yourself if the code you're working on is sufficiently interesting to be a priority in your life. That can simply be choosing projects that are interesting to you, or even projects where you don't care that much about the outcome, but what you'll learn along the way is gonna be useful to you in the future. Of course, your priorities will be completely different to mine, but my current goal is to figure out how to make money building my own software. So anytime I write code that contributes towards that, I don't have a problem with distractions. A really practical step you can take to discover your priorities is what they call journaling, which is really just a process of writing down your thoughts. And when you see them written down, it gives you a chance to reflect on them. So try journaling what you want your life to look like and what software you want to be working on in one year's time as a way to discover your true priorities. Have you ever considered what the daily routine of a billionaire like Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk might be? Probably gonna be very different from the regular guy. What this shows is that you can design your own daily routine. So why not create one that reduces distractions in your life and gives you more time to write software? A few years back, I noticed if I was drinking on Friday or Saturday evening, come Monday morning and even Monday afternoon, I would still feel sluggish at work. Creating a daily routine that limits the distractions you experience Experience might be a case of removing things rather than adding them. Social media, alcohol, caffeine, junk food, just think how much time all these things waste and how much energy they take away from you, which if you remove them from your life, could be invested in becoming a better developer. Most developers have experienced the flow state where you have total focus on what you're working on, no distractions, and one hour feels like five minutes. To get into that state requires peace of mind, which for me means removing mental baggage. Fortunately, developers are really good at automating, so if you can put in place tests to make sure that any code you push is risk-free and alerts to notify you when problems happen, this removes a lot of mental worry and allows me to focus more on the difficult tasks ahead. There's a bit of a debate as to what the best communication style is for online work. For me, it's asynchronous, ideally by email. And of course, I have all those notifications turned off because the last thing you want when you've almost found the source of a bug is a distraction that's gonna make you lose your train of thought. Have you ever faced a challenging development task and suddenly thought that you need to go and clean the kitchen sink? This is our brain's way of avoiding difficult, painful situations by telling us that something else is suddenly top priority. But however big the task is, there's always a way you can split it into manageable chunks to completely remove distraction. The only way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time. How you split the work depends on your project, but I would encourage you to design small tasks that you can complete on a daily basis. That way you can get a regular dopamine reward instead of checking your phone for the hundredth time. As an example, I've had a task of migrating my website's backend from Europe to the US. I've been putting this off for a long time, but now I've broken it down into tasks that I've been working on every day this week. The end is almost in sight. 
So try to turn your development process into a game, much like a video game that you could easily play for hours and hours on end. Of course, when we play a game, sometimes we succeed and sometimes we fail, but by creating a series of coding tasks that you look forward to working on, you'll find that your focus is suddenly in the right place. Let me leave you with this question. Is your problem too much distraction? Or is your problem that you're not engaging in the right work or doing so in the right way to maintain 100% focus? By clarifying your goals, you can eliminate distraction as an excuse and take control of achieving what you want in life. Talking of distractions, I've been really distracted by the sun. We need to move. Oh, that's better. Now it's time for 30 minutes of coding. Like I mentioned, I'm working on this migration right now. I've already completed three tasks and I'm currently working on this one, Migrate Database. If I can finish this today, that's gonna give me a lot of motivation to complete the final task. I've actually got thousands of users that have been added into my database by an automated test. So I'm first gonna delete them to make the migration simpler. Got this script from ChatGPT, which will read all the records from the database and then delete them when they meet certain criteria. So let's run this script first. Error. Okay, ChatGPT, you were wrong. No hard feelings. Found 10,000 items. Wow, it's a lot of test data. Well, however much you focus, sometimes you just run out of time. But having a juicy list of tasks to complete to lead you towards your goal, I believe that's the best way to avoid distractions. See you in the next one.